there's a lot of great workflow functionalities on the AP64 besides just launching clips. In the top right here, we have transport control where we can play and stop our project. There's also a record button up here, but we'll get to that in a moment. First, I wanna talk about this bottom row of buttons here. This bottom row of buttons can function in a few different ways. Right now, they're set to the mute mode. So while the track is playing, I can mute any of the tracks. I can also arm tracks for recording. So track three, our electric piano sound. I can arm that track for recording, go into note mode, which we'll touch on in a future video. And now I can play notes on that track. I can also arm track one, select track one, and now we can play drums. We also have the ability to solo tracks. And finally, we can stop a clip from this row of buttons as well. This is especially useful if you're in a mode outside of session view, like note mode. While your project is playing, you don't have to navigate back to session view to stop a clip. As we saw earlier, we also have a row of track select buttons, meaning we could jump to any track in our project at any moment. And don't forget that you can navigate around your project with the arrow keys, and these track select buttons will now correspond to the tracks that you're scrolling over towards. Track select is especially helpful when we're looking to control the different devices with our touch strips, but we'll touch on that in a future video. In addition to the track select buttons, we also have the ability to use the encoder, to scroll through the tracks of our project. We can even scroll over to our return and master track. Whether you're using the encoder or the track select buttons, navigating around your project to the different tracks is incredibly useful, especially when we start to get into using the touch strips, which we will get into in the next video.